patented. This is one of a kind training. And uh, I have been uh, dreaming this type of training for the 12 months, for the past uh, 10 months, right after the pandemic. How can I reach out to each and every one of you in your home, even without traveling, because we are barred from traveling right now. We are not free to travel. We are actually into our homes to be safe. And uh, it doesn't mean that we will not see each other. It doesn't mean that uh, stay home and do something. I am do nothing. So we are we are a band and group of leaders that uh, even if government will say stop, we should always we always find a way to move and to be productive. So this is a one of a kind. And uh, I invite you to be with me for the next 42 days for just one hour. So next slide, John, please. So this is the announcement yesterday, orientation. So the best thing that you will bring is yourself, your 100%. Your 100% focus for one hour, your 100% awareness for one hour, and your mindfulness for one hour. So, be ready before 5 o'clock. So, I, 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 I wake up at 4 o'clock, so you can wake up the, late, the latest at 4.45 to be ready for our first event of the morning which is meditation and visualization. You find your silent place in your house and be in that silent place every day. Then at 5.20, we'll start uh, the next event, which is our daily reflection, reflection reading. So we empty our minds during meditation. We visualize our future. Then we eat food for thoughts every day. So that's the second event. Then the third event is the journaling or the daily planning to jumpstart your day. Then we'll end up for 20 minute physical exercise. So it's mental fitness, it's physical fitness, as well as spiritual fitness. Next slide, Jan, please. So this is the eight concepts, the eight ideas, the eight values that we will do every day. So these are values that I would like you to practice for the next 42 days. Just discipline yourself to do this every, every day for the next 42 days. So number one is a lot 20 minutes of your day to meditate, to empty your mind about the stresses and the tension and the pressures of our everyday living. Just do it for at least 10 minutes. Empty your mind. Just like a cup of water, you cannot put or pour additional water if the cup is at its full level. You have to empty the cup. Why? Because the last 10 minutes of our exercise, which is visualization, we will pour in water, which is our vision, our goals, our dreams, our aspirations in life. So we empty the tensions, we empty the problems, we empty the, the stresses of the day, and we will replace it with the visions that we have in our lives, the dreams and our aspirations. Second value, which is physical. We will do 20 minutes exercise every day. I will walk through with you during meditation, during our daily exercise, and during our third, our third, our, this is actually our second event for the day. I will read 
one essay every day, which is, which is for us to reflect on. This is this will be the food for thoughts for the day. While reading, you will have your pocket journal. Just jot down what you learn. What is your aha moment? What are the things, the ideas, the thoughts that comes in your mind while I'm reading the essay? The number four, this is our daily journal. We will plan our perfect day by writing the program of the day every hour. Don't smoke. For those who are drinking alcohol, don't drink alcohol. Just stop doing it for the next 42 days or else you will not maximize the challenge that we are undergoing for the next 42 days. This is very important. Perform an act of unconditional kindness every day. It's not actually all about money. It's about just saying good morning to the people, smiling to the people that you come in contact with. A simple hello, a simple how are you, a simple good morning to all the people that you can reach online or in personal capacity. That's already an unconditional kindness. Anything that you give and don't never or expect something in return is a value that starts the cycle of blessing because the cycle of blessing says you have to give first before you receive. Then number seven, be positive always and believe in yourself at all times. Never put any seed of doubt that you cannot do it because the moment you think that you cannot do it, you, are, you will never achieve it. So every day, think positive all the time. Don't eat processed. That's the last consciously this value to be conscious of. Don't eat junk foods, processed food, or convenient foods. This will give you harm than good. You will feel full, but you are short change of nutrition, of nutrients that your body really needs. Next slide, John, please. So bear this in mind. No, the number five and number eight to number eight. I will not be with you. I'll be with you from number one to number four. But number five to number eight, it all depends on your discipline. It all depends on you. Everything depends on you because the moment uh, at six o'clock, the moment we part each other, number five, number six, number seven, and number eight will be all. No, will count down on your discipline if you are going to do it or not. So these are the eight steps or eight values that we should be consciously, mindfully doing it every day for the next 42 days. Next slide, John, please. So the daily habits is how to consciously design your life. Focus on your big vision. Your portrait of success. How do you define success? So the vision, that's the big picture. Then the second, we'll break it into action daily and make it a habit so that we'll be getting closer and closer to that big vision. So you cannot go directly to the big vision without actually breaking it into small daily goals or daily habits. And lastly, be mindful of the present. This is the most important time of your life. The time is now, not yesterday, not a while ago, not later, but the most important hour for you is the present. Be mindful of what you're doing hour per hour, minute per minute, seconds per seconds, every day. Don't waste your time because time is a commodity that when, once you lost, you'll never come back. Next slide, John, please. 
So jumpstart your day with Coach Tax. This will be the order of our daily habits, our daily challenge for the next 42 days. If you are not getting up before 4.30, you have to get up at 4.30 and dress and become fully aware, awake for the day. So when you dress up, I suggest that you already wear your attire when you are going to exercise. Your running shoes is beside you because after our meditation, after our journaling, after our planning for the day, after our reading reflection, we'll do our exercise. So just put it beside you so that we will be ready at 540 for the exercise. And after the meditation and visualization, I will read an essay to you every day and write your aha moment to your packet journal as your code or thoughts for the day. So consider its application in your life. Then at 5.30, we'll get our journal. So this is our journal. This is our daily journal. This is a planner. And we have a packet journal, packet journal. So in packet journal, which is the time you take out during our reflection reading, just put in the things that you learned, your aha moment, and consider its application for the day. So after doing that, we'll get our planner or our personal daily journal. Or we call it our daily journal. So we'll put it here. Hour per hour, hour per hour, your plan for the day. So after that, Another 10 minutes, we'll get ready for our exercises. And that's an hour of your day. You already jumpstart. While others are still sleeping, you already jumpstart your day. You have meditated. You have been visualizing your future. You have food for thought for the day. By our daily reflection reading, you already review our accomplishment yesterday and we are already writing down our plan for the day per hour and for physical fitness we already did our 20 minute exercise so that's just one hour together we will do it for the next 42 days next slide Jan please so at five o'clock in the morning according to Dr. Leon Hammer the two most important thing in modern man is sleep and meditation. So we have to sleep early so that we can wake up at 4 o'clock for our meditation. And according to Dr. Leon Hammer, this is very timely, very important in modern man, sleep and meditation. If I can remember uh, 20 years ago, a doctor said that the number one killer is not really cancer or COVID-19. It's actually stress. So how to distress yourself? It's through sleeping and meditation. Then uh, the visualization, we have to create our day in advance through visualization by thinking the way we want it to go. And you will create your life intentionally. So this is mindfulness, creating our vision. Next slide, John, please. At 5.20, after our meditation and our visualization, our journaling, as I read the thought for the day, you have to have your packet journal ready and just write down anything that you learned, your lessons, the beliefs, the ideas, the strategies, the quotes, anything that you think you can apply in your life. And also write the kindness that you have done for the day. Never allow a day that you haven't done any kindness to somebody. Then our daily journal. Oh. This one, your planner. Your daily tasks or events with timetable. Lists of people that you will call, you will invite, or you will sell. And the things that you need to accomplish for the day. Next slide, Jan, please. So this sample of the daily journal. So today is January 16th, Saturday. I wake up. 
at 4.45, preparing for the jump start, you open your computer, the countdown is there, then for one hour we will be together for our jump start, then breakfast and shower, then the, at 7 o'clock, you, you call your diamonds, you call your key leaders, at 8 o'clock, start making calls or follow-ups to your prospects and to your customers. At 9.30, we'll have healthy snacks. I will uh, go through that later at 10 o'clock. Read 20 pages of a good book. Then have your lunch and plan your afternoon. So this is an example of consciously writing your plans for the day. Then follow it because according to Brian Tracy, as I said, those who don't plan, don't have plan, pretend just like a boat who are in the middle of the sea was nothing to go was no destinations don't be like that ship be a ship with a rudder as a destination because as i said time is of essential value it's not unlimited next john please so this is a very good practice so i just learned this a few months ago there is a 10 before 10 rule or 10 by 10 rule. So what does it mean? It's achieving 10 tasks before 10 a.m. So this is what I'm following every 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 morning. So before 10 o'clock in the morning, I already have achieved 10 tasks or 10 events that I have to attain to every day. So you wake up, you pray, our meditation, that's our one hour journaling, uh, one hour jump start then breakfast, then book reading, then 20 calls. So right now it's very good to do this business because you're just in your home with your uh, cell phone or with your social media, you can make your calls. Then uh, at number 10, before 10 o'clock, I, I have already eaten my morning healthy snacks. Or you can uh, extend that. Next, next slide, Jan, please. Next slide, Jan. 12 before 12 rule. So achieving 12 tasks before 12 noon. So this is a very good practice. No? Before the end of the morning, you have already achieved 12 tasks for the day. So also make it a habit, 10 by 10 or 10 before 12 rule. Next, Jan, uh, next slide, Jan, please. So our typical daily healthy meals. So this is very important because after this uh, orientation, we will uh, we will uh, post something in our in our page that will. Determine if you are overweight, if you are at normal range in your weight, or if you are obese. So that starting today, you will know what's your ideal weight. Because we should have a target for 42 days if you are improving or not in terms of your physical health. So after this one, you will you visit our page. You will see if you are overweight or underweight. Then write down your weight today because we will see at the end of our 42 challenge if we have achieved our goals in terms of physical health so breakfast this is what we're gonna do i will not uh, uh give you a a meal plan that you have to follow all i need all I ask and all I request from you is just eat half of your usual rice consumption. If you are eating one, one big plate of rice every day, so every meal, cut it to half. If you are eating one cup of rice, cut it to half. If you are eating two cups of rice every meal, just eat one cup of rice. So for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you can eat whatever food in the table, but eat just half of your usual rice consumption. Why? One cup of rice will already give you around 250 calories. 
for ladies, the usual calorie allowance or daily needs is only 2,000. So if you are eating two cups of rice, the 2,000 calorie that you need every day is already achieved by eat, just eating rice. But you are eating other food. It's only water that doesn't have any calories. Everything, including your juices, including your your snacks, including your crackers, they all have calories. So the first thing that we're going to do is to cut our rice consumption into half. Then for the next 42 hours, this is very, very important, especially for us who are into health and wellness business. We have to be the model of the products that we are selling. We have to be fit. We have to be in the normal range of our body weight. Starting tomorrow, our snacks will only be spirulina cereal with sliced banana, with sliced uh, avocado, that's also one of my favorite, or my cup G in a glass of water. So this will make us healthier. So there's a study that uh, if you are hungry, just drink water. After a few minutes, your hunger will evaporate. So this is not something that uh, like a pain. If you are prolonging the time that you eat, the mind will also take away from its course of hunger. The mind can can be taught, even if you are hungry, to, to, to think that he is not that hungry. So just drink water a lot because if you overeat, you will also gain weight. So the best way really is to apportion your food, half price consumption of what you're eating right now and our stocks at 10 o'clock our mid-morning stocks can either be cereal with sliced banana or one piece of uh, avocado or one one cup of mixed fruits or my cup g mixed in a glass of water so this is our typical daily healthy meals next slide john please so this is uh my snacks yesterday afternoon. So one spirulina cereal. I mix it one tablespoon honey. Then I added one fourth cup of water. Then after I mix it, and in the it became sticky. I slice banana, or if you have uh, mixed fruits, or if you have uh, an avocado, then mix it. Then eat it. Then the, it's already good for me before I have my dinner at 7 o'clock. Another option, if you have, don't have spirulina cereal, one cup or one scoop of my cup G mixed in a glass of water. So this will be our snacks. No? My cup G in a glass of water or spirulina cereal mixed with one cup of mixed fruits or mixed with one, slice bana one, one banana or one avocado. Next slide, Jan, please. So our daily exercises for the day. So we have uh, two different exercises. One is for cardiovascular exercises and one for muscle toning or strength training. So immediately after you did your 20 minutes exercise, these are the five immediate benefits. Mental conditioning, increased well-being, raised your self-esteem. You feel good about yourself, you reduce body fat, and you increase your energy. So. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, be in your run gears. If you don't, if you have a jump rope, that's good. And uh, be ready with the uh, with the uh, water beside you. So I will walk through with you that we will be together for the next uh, 42 days, just 20 minutes. We will have our cardio exercises, then. Uh, Two to three days for muscle strengthening or muscle toning or strength training. Uh, that's Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. 
So, yan. Uh, yan. So, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So, what do you, what do you prepare? A stepper? Optional if you have yoga mat and drinking water. One more, one more, John. Stepper is like this one. Stepper is, is like a banquito. Yeah. So that's a stepper. We will use that in our tricep dips and our step up exercise. So anything that uh, elevated, you can uh, actually have a chair that's not too elevated. We call it a banquito. The one that you use in the in laundry when you are sitting down so you can have that so this will are these are the things that you have to prepare when you are doing our exercises next slide john please so monday wednesday and friday this will be our exercise cardio workout consists of either jogging and pace either jumping jack or skip rope so i will go through to that we have uh, already prepared it john is the one who's doing uh, the preparation so shout out to john Later, I will uh, really personally thank him for, for, for preparing us for this jump start in such exercises. So you have to warm up for one minute, just moving around, just walking in your area. Then we'll have two sets of 20 by 20 seconds jog in place and 10 seconds rest. 20 seconds jog in place or 10 seconds rest. We can also have our jumping jack on Wednesday. 20 seconds and rest for 10 seconds until we reach the 20 minute mark. Cool down and rest and drink water. So for Tuesday, next slide, Jackie. For Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturdays. So our body weight exercises. So push up, squats, lunges, tricep dip, where you gonna use your stepper or your banquito, calf raises, sit up, step up. And I use your uh, stepper, the plank, the leg raise, and the chest raise. So what you're going to do, next slide, John, please, is to do as many as you can in 20 seconds. You can push up in the one or two. You can also do the the modified push up. Your Instead of your feet on the ground, your 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 knees on the ground, then just push up you know, as many as you can. You can do one, you can do two, you can do ten. So as many as you can in 20 seconds and rest for 10 seconds. Then we'll proceed to the second and third. I will go, I will walk with you during these exercises. So don't worry if you are a beginner. So until we reach the 20 minute mark. So this, those are our two uh, exercises groups. Cardiovascular for Monday, Tuesday, uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And uh, muscle toning or weight exercises. We don't need, uh, we don't need, uh, Weights, we don't need dumbbells, just our body weight. Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturdays. Next slide, yes, please. Now, what are the things to remember during this challenge with Coach Stack, Jumpstart with Coach Stack? This is a 42-day challenge. So if you do this on day one or day two only, so you lose that, that uh, opportunity for you to become healthier, happier, and uh, wealthier in the next 42 days. Be present every day and religiously follow our activities for one hour. Discipline yourself to follow our healthy diet program. Cut your rice consumption into half. Exclusively eat spirulina cereal with fruits or Michael G for your snacks daily. The morning snacks, the PM snacks, and the evening snacks. For the next 42 days, don't smoke and don't drink alcohol. Perform unconditional kindness daily. So as simple as saying good morning to anyone, to everyone that you meet. Saying hello, how are you? Are you okay? And giving alms, giving money to those who are needy without expecting anything in return is something that will start the cycle of blessings. So when you give, don't expect anything in return. Be positive. It's very important. And believe in yourself at all times. If you are with people who are negative, meditate and think of the positive things. 
Dr. Lim is very good in this positive thinking. As CEO, you will be bombarded with a lot of problems every day, out of stocks, people who are resigning, people who committed mistakes. All the problems will be given to you. But Dr. Lim is just doing the meditation every day. He said as, as early as nine years old, he is already doing Sonia. What does it mean? He just let go of all the stresses every day. He let go of the tension. He let go of the problems every day. Why? Because if you don't do it, every day you will have stress in life and you will die early. So if there's a problem about upstocking, just tell your apply, just tell our area sales coordinator, then do the things that you can do. Never dwell on those problems. Why? Because it will stress you. That's the biggest discovery I have with Dr. Lim. A CEO who is always happy, a CEO who is always smiling. Why? Because he always do meditation every day. Time will come, we don't need any music. Time will come, we don't need any voiceover during our meditation. Whatever distractions, just meditate. It will be nothing, no? So be positive at all times, meditate every day. Just think of what's happening right now and don't dwell on those problems that you cannot do anything. So if there's no stocks, if somebody is not signing up after your lengthy BOM, it's okay. You can do nothing about it. But be positive that someday stocks will be coming in and I'm ready. I have a lot of customers waiting. Someday someone will say yes to me in this business and he will be a crown ambassador and he will be my big time business leader be positive always and remember junk food will do you harm than good processed food will do you harm than good if you are hungry and you don't have anything to eat just eat spirulina cereal for your lunch just eat just drink my cup tea. Even a small amount, it will give you more nutrition, it will give you more, it will nourish more your body, and it will do good than harm compared to eating junk food. Remember that the mind can be taught that you are not hungry, can be taught that hunger will pass. It's not if you are hungry at 12 o'clock, by the time at 2 o'clock you, you don't eat anything, you will die now by just concentrating that you're not hungry, by just swallowing your saliva later, you will feel you're not hungry anymore. That's the power of positive thinking. Drink a lot of water if you feel you are hungry. Don't overeat, don't eat junk food, don't eat processed food for the next 42 days. Next slide, Jan, please. Create your future with Code Stocks for 42 days. Come and join me for 42 days. We will attract success in our lives. We'll take full control of our actions. Stick to it. Whatever happened, come what may, and transform your life forever. Next slide, Jan, please. Thank you for today. See you tomorrow. Prepare the things that I have told you a while ago. This is our orientation day. Tomorrow is our day one. Prepare for our day one tomorrow. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Then make positive impact in others. Make positive impact in yourself. Jot down your weight today because later you will see what is your weight range that you are healthy? What is your weight range if you are already overweight and if you are already obese? Thank you. Good morning, everyone. And back to you, John.